way We vibes a special way To see the people playing Everybody celebrating The music sounds so sweet It's only we who feel it I'm proud of where I'm from Need you to understand I am a solution No matter how far I go So we've been learning how um, an opti is very forgiving. Now, if you have lowered heel, don't even bother pulling your tiller towards you. The boat's not going to bear away. So we bear the boat away by easing the sheet. But first of all, the boat needs to be flat. So if we have that boat flat, we can drop our weight a bit more, ease the sheet, and that's how the boat will bear away. Okay, middle race. Caleb and um, Tom were tied, but Tom's already capsized. And Caleb needs to get one place between him and Seb to win. So you can see the top mark when Caleb's tacking. So he's tacking onto the long tack. So Seb hard covers him. Now that's smart. Okay, so you've now forced him out onto the short tack. To capitalize on that, you would have needed to put a soft cover in now. So that when Caleb tacked back near lay or on lay, you could have hard covered him and had him what you call locked in. Like he wouldn't have had a way around you. But instead you split. So now Caleb's had a free run into the mark and when you come back you'll find that he has made a gain and now you've got yourself into a situation where it's race on because you're equal now. Whether you could have had him locked in, you could have had him come into that mark in your bad air and had a nice safe couple of boat lead. leads. Remember he needs to be overlap with you or near you to have a chance at this because he has to get a place in between you. So now he has, you've given him a chance. He's now got opportunity. So he goes straight inside you to take the power of the right or the left looking downwind. So he has a chance to sort of slow you down. Okay, at this point you put the jibe in onto port. Not the cleverest thing when you've got a boat that, uh, is trying to affect you. And Caleb, as soon as he jibes, you take the game and go to see if you've got a place in between you and him. That's smart. Like, yep, yeah, I forced him to jibe, so I've made a game. And that was basically caused by Caleb putting pressure on you. So eventually, he, Caleb just got a reward, reward from putting the pressure on. And um, yeah, that was a well sailed medal race. And he easily gets the place in between you two. Now that covering scenario between Caleb and Seb is not just a match racing scenario. And I want the lesson to transfer through to your fleet racing. So quite often you'll find that the front bunch, you'll have 90 to 100% of that front bunch stuck to one side of you. And if you've done the smart thing and patiently waited on the long tack, you'll find that you get to a point where you can cross. And at that point, um, what we can do is what we talked about before, locking them in. Now, most of the time, people that try to do that will overshoot, tack, go past the line of the other boat and tack back and then suddenly find that they've given away the long tack and go, oh, whoops, I'm now overlay and this doesn't look so good. Or they'll be like, ah, I'm in front, I'm crossing, I'll just sit here and wait patiently. Now, that will work most of the time because you are on the long tack, so stats are in your favour, but every now and again, they'll get a lift or some pressure and then suddenly you look over your shoulder and go, oh crap, I can't cross, or now I've got problems coming to the top mark or finish line. With it, what you can do is what we talked about before, called locking it in, is where you go back and tack over and tack back on them or on their line, not past them, and you're still protecting the long tack side of them, you've just locked them in so they can't get around you. But it's all about playing your percentages, because if you have 50% of the bunch on the other side of you, well then you still want to play your lifted or long tack. This is just a percentage game, whether if you get... 90 to 100% of them on one side of you and you can cross and lock, do what we call lock them in, that's when you want to start considering that option. I'm not sure what happened here, but not only are a lot of you a long way behind, a lot of you haven't sheeted on 
at all and I quite often like to not blow a whistle sometimes because it shows the ones that are waiting for the whistle before the turn up and the ones that are timing their own distance to the line. Henry, we saw a lot of reaching along the line and turning up on the gun. That it's not going to be effective in a big fleet or a gatter, eh? This was by far your guys' best attempt. I think almost all of you were within a boat length of the line. So many of the starts today, the pin was bought from so early on that most of them, like out of these six, like almost half of them would have been general recalls. That's how early you guys are blocking the pin and how many are you going over. So when you guys are trying to get me to tell you who's over and who won the start, the reason I can't answer is because they legitimately would just genuinely be general recalls and it's too hard to call and you can see that from looking at the video yourselves. Um, now Caleb was by far the fastest when we got a bit of breeze on. So he is doing some things very well, but even Caleb has a few things he can improve on. One is when he is over pad and he eases his sheet, he has that habit of lifting his shoulders up. That's the most important time to have your shoulders down if you're having to ease. The reason you lift your um, shoulders up is because you're hanging off the sheet. That's when you need to engage your core, hold the upper half of your body on your core so that when you ease your sheet, your weight engages more. And uh, that's how you get super fast. The other thing that be, be wary of is, I know you guys use the Opti where you never ease. Um, when you're easing, you're tending to bear away a touch and power the boats up, um, basically making the ease ineffective and just making you lower and more powered and increasing the problem. But we did learn how we can actually sheet upwind, must have the vang on, obviously, otherwise the boom goes up, not out, but keep the boat fast by sheeting upwind. And, and out of attack and bearing away, it's all about the ease. Something that's quite a new concept, because um, one, the Opti's forgiving, and two, it's hard to ease upwind because you've got no van. Um, I got a small shot of Seb before we had another um, breakage. So Seb's got very reactive here, and he's very good at dropping the main sheet through his hand to stop that boat from healing and rounding up. But again, he's letting the shoulders lift at the same time. And there, out of attack, make sure that hand's free to ease. Everybody's celebrating. The music sounds so sweet. Ease on the wee who feet. 